My name is Laura T. Hurd, and my law firm's name is the Laura T. Hurd Law Firm, Inc., and I practice family law, probate law, and mediation. If you are the spouse of a military service member and your divorce decree says you're entitled to a portion of their military retired pay, it is very important that the divorce decree contains specific language that DFAS requires in order to divide that retirement. And you have to have a separate division of retirement order with very specific language or DFAS will not accept it. It's also really important that you get a certified copy of your final decree of divorce and a certified copy of your division retirement order and send them in to DFAS within one year of the time that you're divorced. My name is Laura Hurd and I'm an attorney who has practiced family law in San Antonio, Texas since 1987. And I've helped many, many people get divorced and divide military retirement. I've also had many people come to me that were represented by someone else or tried to do it themselves or had only their sp uh, military spouse had the attorney and they didn't have an attorney and it's all messed up. Sometimes we can fix it, sometimes we can't. But of course it's better to get it done right the first time. And if you have been married for less than 10 years, overlapping with 10 years of credible military service, um, or if the orders can't be fixed, and DFAS won't give you the money directly, you're still entitled to it. Your military service member ex-spouse is required to send you that money that you're entitled to every month as soon as they get it, even if DFAS doesn't send it to you directly. And if they don't do that, then we can file suit to enforce that order. I do. I did. I'm done. Come see me.